Grass Tube. We're heading out to Mount Larkham Art Gallery and Museum to install my artwork, my first exhibition, which is a bit scary. Worried how it's going to be when it actually gets put up. Let's see what it's going to look like because I haven't had the, um, the space to actually lay all of it out and get a proper look at it until today. So it's a bit of a risk. Being scary. Hoping it all comes together for me. It's my first go at printmaking in general <laughs> at all. <laughs> my first set of prints has become my first exhibition. It's been a very steep learning curve. Lots of successes and lots of failures in between. Here's hoping that um, today is one of the successes. <laughs>
what a book is or can be and challenging the, ide um, the ideas of what a book is. So my book is very storyboard orientated. So it's not uh, conventional bound pages. It'll be read uh, by walking along the wall that it'll be installed on. And hopefully as you walk around the, the installation, you'll see the changes in the story through the... And the sameness of a lot of it too, because the repetition will, some of it will go all the way through, and some of it will progress through. So I have two basic sets of prints. There's the, the storyline prints, and the, the repetition words and images that work all the way through, that are relevant from beginning to end. And that shows the the timelessness of the legend and how that will always relate to mankind in general as a ego-centered animal. Explores that, explores historical issues of, of war and um, the idea of the ego as a personal thing, as a a social or society issue as well as uh, international as in politics and countries and world war and um, sort of flexing of muscles and showing of power that has been a fairly constant thing through, through history. To arrive at all these ideas I did a lot of research into my theme um, read a lot of different versions of the Greek myth and then explored the, the word Narcissus itself and Narcissism um, from the, the Freudian explanation of it. So exploring the NPD, Narcissistic Personality Disorder, is where it's about people that just really don't care about anything that themselves. And if you look through history and culture and um, even watching the news and general society today, um, I really feel that it's not a clinical illness, it's a pandemic. <laughs> Nobody cares about anything but themselves. It's, and that's really what the uh, idea finally comes down to. The legend of Narcissus has a moral and my reading of that moral is that um, too much self love, too much ego, uh, too much self centeredness um, ultimately leads to self destruction and so the, the final outcome of my book is sort of a, a doomsday prophecy almost. So I've used, used a lot of metaphor translating the theme. So Narcissus has become metaphor for mankind and the wood nymph echo has become metaphor for mother earth or nature. So in the beginning she's watching over him nurturing, loving and then as he ignores her and is leading towards his self-destruction she becomes angry and hurt and lots of other sort of negative emotions and finally in the end he's there is nothing um, everything is destroyed it's a bleak landscape and then uh, the last plate is simply the barren landscape of volcanoes and rocks and, and the single narcissus flower is growing in the middle of it which is the potential new beginning. So that's the end.